What's going on everyone? 2AM here and today we'll create a foot using our best friend the default cube. So this is a simple method. We just tab over into edit mode. Let's go over this top Z view. You can use hotkeys if you have a numpad unlike me. I'm going to press control R. Shortcuts will be seen down here. And I'm going to scroll up with a scroll wheel till, the, till there's four yellow lines. So there's going to be four cuts making five faces. Click to confirm, right click to exit that. Control R again. And then make a loop cut along the X axis. This time it's going to be nine cuts. Great. Now let's press A to select everything and press S to Y. And then let's do S 0.2 Z. So we're shrinking it to 20% along the Z axis. And then let's loop cut one last time just along this part. So in the end, this is 10. This is five, this is two. You're done. Like and subscribe. No, I'm just kidding. So Z view again. Um, let's press Alt Z to turn on X-ray and press O to turn on proportional editing. If it's on, this part will be blue. So let me just try to go over the shape here quickly before we actually do it. Here's gonna be concaved. This is the right foot, by the way. The bottom is gonna have this curve. And then this is also going to be a little curved around here. And then at the top, it's going to have a little slant. Anyways, I'll just do it right now. So let's select these two uh, with X-ray on. Grab it and push it in. And this circle is the proportional editing circle. You can use the scroll wheel to adjust its size. Let's try to grab most of the rectangle here and just push that in. Let's also go to this side and push this side out a bit. Here in the middle and also here at the top a little. And then here are the corners. You can grab this left corner, push it in. I'm going to shrink the size of the circle here. Same for this one. Let's push this one a little in more. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then here, top left corner. Let's push that out just a little bit and push this corner a little down. And then I'm going to press O, turn off proportional editing and just tweak this area so that it's like more circular. And that, that should be okay. One last thing, I'm going to grab these vertices and press GG and slide it along a little. That way there's more space for the big toe. Seeing as a big toe is the biggest toe. But yeah, it doesn't need to be perfect. There just needs to be this curve here. Contour at the bottom and along the top, it's a little slanted. Okay, now we're ready to move on. Let's go over to the front. Let's select these two vertices, press delete, edges. Not vertices, edges, delete edges. Okay, now while we're still in edit mode, shift A, add a circle, change vertices from 32 to six. It's already changed here, because this is not my first take. And let's rotate this, bring it to the front and rotate it along the X axis, shrink it down, bring it in front of the hole that we just created and let's also rotate it by 30 degrees so that it's parallel to the x-axis. Bring it down there. Now, let's extrude it about that much, about that toe size. Here from the side, let's control R, loop cut it three times. So that's four divisions. And actually, Let's do one more here in the first segment and bring that cut close to this. This is where the toenail will start. So with that in mind, let's Alt Z turn on X-ray, bring this part out a bit. That's the toe nail segment. 
Let's select these, bring them up. And let's select this corner, bring it down. Okay. Now from the top view, let's alt left click these two edges, scale along X and bring them out like this. So S, X, bring them out. Also, let's close this up. So if you select these two vertices and press F twice, it will just fill those in. Now let's create the toenail by selecting these four vertices. G, grab them down and move them along the Z axis down and then extrude them back up along the Z axis as well. Okay, now at this point, let's tab over into object mode, shade smooth, right click the object, shade smooth, and also add a modifier subdivision surface. Just keep them as is. Tab back into edit mode. And for this to not look weird like this, we have to bring these two down. So grab them and actually bring them under. And a little in inwards. So that creates the area where the toenail meets the skin. X-ray on with Alt-Z. I'm just gonna scale these down, these bottom half vertices along the X-axis. Make them a bit smaller. This part will make a bit bigger. And before we go any further with this, actually, let me just duplicate it. And this next toe will be the longest toe. So scale it a bit along the Y axis. So now that we have a visual, we can actually scale this one up a bit, make it a little fatter as well, or a little more there, yep. At this point, we can duplicate this one. I am just gonna scale these ones down because they're gonna be a little smaller. The last one's gonna be the smallest. Get this one in a bit. Now let's connect these toes. So the first one we already need a hole for. In the edge menu, there's something called bridge edge loops. I'm gonna right click that and add it to my quick favorites. So you can do that if you haven't already. This will allow you to alt left click this. So alt left click the toe loop, hold shift and alt left click the foot loop. And then when you press Q, it opens quick favorites menu and then you just do bridge edge loops. So let's turn off the subdivision so that we can see it more easily here by turning off real time, turn it back on later, but select these two always. It's gonna be this edge where you just delete edges. So that opens up that whole square hole. Alt click, shift alt left click, Q, bridge edge loops. And just do that for every single loop. And we can turn on real time again. So there you got your basic shape. We're gonna go over it in sculpt mode because it does need some tweaking. But before we do that, let's create our leg connection. So over here in the back, let's count up three faces. So one, two, three, one, two, three. This face we landed on, let's select its vertices and just press delete vertices. I'll make a hole. We all left click that hole and we just extrude it upwards. Let's say about four divisions high. So we extrude it upwards and then we loop cut it three times. That should be okay. I'm gonna take these two on each side, these, these two faces Scale them along the x-axis, so it'll bring them out. Control B. To bevel them just like that. And then those inner, those interfaces that were just created, let's scale them along x again. All right, so those are your ankles. And with that, 
we pretty much modeled all the vertices of the foot. Now all we need to do is adjust it in sculpt mode. So let's tab over into sculpt mode. So first tool that I want to use is grab. Let's use the brackets to adjust the size of it. So basically, we just want to take this part, grab it out. Okay, and then also this part, Let's make it rise a little bit so that the foot does not look flat like it does right now. Now that part's fixed, but look at these toes. They look all skinny and weird looking. We can also use the grab tool for this as well. So here they're a bit long, meaning we can uh, move up the ends. And also usually toes aren't straight. Usually at this side, they go in a little bit like this. And from the pinky side, they go in a little bit like that. These toenails are looking a little long. Grab tool can fix that as well. You just move them up. Okay, the direction of the toes are pretty much correct now. And I'll move over to inflate. With inflate, I just want to go over this part again. Inflate it a little more. For the sole of the foot, I want to inflate around here. The balls of the foot at the front and also at the heel, and also like around the edges of the foot. Basically just flesh it out a little bit. Let's see. Okay, that's a little better. Let's add a little more. And then let's inflate the toes because they're looking a little bit skinny. So let's add some meat to them. In the in-betweens, there's usually not this much space in between the toes. Let's inflate the ends a little as well. As much as we can without too much clipping. It's a, a little clipping is okay because toes can be together. This part is the part that looks weird. Let's break on this a bit. Grab tool. Now feet come in all different shapes and sizes. So tweak it, make it look how you want it to look. 90% of the tweaks can meet, be made using those two tools I just mentioned, grab and inflate. Grab to shape it and then inflate to like puff out the areas that need a little more meat. And then one thing you can also adjust is create a little art. So you can push in the sole up and you can move the toes down a little. Let me just do a large scale tweak here in edit mode. I just want a, the foot to be a little less stubby. So I can scale it along this axis. Just move it up a bit. Okay, I think I've tweaked this one to my consent. All right, there's your foot, relatively low poly, relatively detailed as well. It can probably be refined a little bit more, but that'll do for the purposes of this tutorial. We take note of the number of vertices around the, um, this foot loop, of course, so that when we connect it to our legs, it's, it's gonna be pretty seamless. Anyways, I'm gonna stick this file into Patreon. My Patreon is just $2 USD and it's, I think there's like a bunch of files on there already, at least like five files. And it's also gonna include the marked seams where they should be. You can have a quick look at where they are. They're just all in the nails. These eight vertices for the nails. Might be a little hard to see. We probably should have done this so that when we duplicated the toes, 
we don't have to do it again because uh, duplicating also copies the seams. But that's where they are for the toenails. And then there's one that goes right across, which you can just alt left click. And then you can get all of that when you do mark seam. There's one that goes along the top, but not the bottom. So starting from here, where that middle seam meets, goes over the top like that. And then here in the back too, it doesn't go around the bottom, just goes over the middle back of the heel. When that's unwrapped, it should look like this. All of this stuff is the nails. So you just put that on the nail color. This is the bottom of the foot. This is like the ankle area. And this is the top. It looks like a hand, but it's actually just the top of the foot. And one thing you can do in texture paint is of course you can just do one color for the nails. And then with a low strength red brush, you can like, you can just paint in between these webbings. And that creates some shading for the toes. If you're into that art style, you can do it for the bottom as well. But that's already a little extra in terms of what this video should cover, so. But yeah, that's it. Anyways, please support the video and the channel if it helped. Have yourselves a good one. I'm out.